Hello, it has been six weeks since I started my YouTube channel and posted my first video, and I wanna do a six week review to go over what I have learned and where the channel is going to head. This will be a two-parter, so tune in next week for episode two. So first up, Reddit likes pithy titles and no self-promotion. Number two, titles and thumbnails are the most important content that you can actually be creating. What I mean by that is it's the first thing that people will get an impression of your video and your content. If your thumbnail and your title aren't on point, chances are you are going to have a low click through rate. And that will basically decimate your ability to grow your channel. So thumbnail, title, extremely important and it should be captivating to your audience. Number two, audio matters the most. You can see here, I have a lapel. Now, I have actually tried four separate audio solutions trying to get the right one, and I have another one coming later on this week. Why? Because if people aren't enjoying the sound, they are not going to tune in for the video. The video itself can be playing in the background for people, they might not be paying attention, but chances are they are listening in some way, shape, or form. So if your audio game is off or just kind of sounds unnatural, people aren't going to tune in and therefore they're going to immediately drop, which means you're gonna have what they call low retention rates. And retention rate is actually keeping your audience focused, engaged, and continuing to enjoy the content that you're producing throughout the entire video itself. Number four, the first impression that you make in a video is the most important thing. The video is what people are there to click on and to enjoy. If the introduction to the video is not captivating, is not pleasant, is not high quality, people will pretty much just drop pretty fast. Also, don't put an introduction in front of the main body of your content and certainly don't run an ad before you start your content. These are all tips and tricks that I have learned watching various YouTube videos and trying to get as much extra information as possible. Now, I'm not being facetious by calling out three things as being the most important items because the fact is at a given point in your channel, they actually will be the most important items. If people don't think that your thumbnail is good, they won't click. If they don't read your title and think that, that it's interesting, they won't click. If they drop into the video and it's not a captivating scene as soon as they start, they're going to drop out. If you throw an advertisement at them very quickly towards the beginning, they're going to drop out. And if the audio itself is not on point, people aren't going to enjoy it. So each of those three items really are the most important parts of putting all of this together. And in fact, when you sandwich the massive amount of stuff together in order to actually produce one good video, and then you try to make that a great video, it's actually a lot more work than a lot of people realize. And that's honestly the number one thing that I learned through this process. The amount of work that goes into just a 10 minute amount of content on YouTube is exponentially larger than the amount of time that people are viewing it. So. I have a great admiration and appreciation for everybody who has been putting content on YouTube and for those people who have subscribed and commented on each or any of my videos for that matter. The real number three is, um, okay, Reddit likes titles to be pithy, whole lot of work goes into this. Oh, you're gonna mess up constantly. Yeah, uh, you wanna make sure that you uh, have a certain level of self-esteem in order to actually sit down and start doing any of this because when you start watching yourself on camera and you start seeing all of the mistakes that you make over and over and over and over again, as well as using the same jokes over and over again, uh, it really does kind of bring you down several pegs. And again, when you start comparing yourselves to the bigger YouTubers who've already figured all of this stuff out, man, that's a big hit on the ego. And that brings me to point number four, and that's simply to set realistic expectations. You can't publish every day. You can't publish really every other day and maintain a good amount of quality. In fact, what I found has been working the best is to record a bunch of content and then throughout the week when I get time, 
splice, edit, and modify that content so that I, I have things that are stacked up. When I went on vacation for a little bit, I actually burned through a bunch of my lead time and, and had to quickly pro catch up. So setting proper expectations of yourself as well as your channel, right? My goal for the now to the end of the year is to get 100 videos up. That's a personal goal and I think that I can do it because I have a roadmap for the content. And quite honestly, I'm excited to get through that stuff because I think it's gonna end up pretty good. I also want 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That will actually allow me to monetize, that'll allow me to turn this into a true legitimate business, which right now, it's just a hobby. If you're not getting paid for something, it's, it's more or less just a hobby. So I know where I want the channel to go and I'm hoping that you will help me get there by the end of the year by continuing to watch my videos and continuing to share the content that I'm creating. So that's all I have for you this week. Next week, I will have a channel update. We are going to change several of the series that I've been doing and we're gonna talk about what I am gonna do for the rest of the year and a little bit of a tease about what I am planning for next year. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.